Hey, what's up everyone? Morning Coaching here, and today we're going to be breaking down Terrence Laird's 100 meter split. He actually ran an 887, and the video starts right now. All right, so this is going to be Terrence Laird's 100 meter split. We have him right here. He ended up having a great comeback here in the 100 to be able to capture the, you know, him and his team capture the, the 4 by one 100 meter championship and uh you know big thing that we're, we i like to look at is you know how much distance he is able to pick up within a second and that's how i end up getting to his top speed so we can see here at the bottom he's at 49.72 he's a little bit behind the marker here so then we're going to fast forwards we got one step two steps three steps four steps right there and he's at 50 52 so now we want to be able to figure out how much distance he's picking up per step. I want to say he's probably at like 8.3 in terms of how much distance that he's taken up so far. 8.3 meters. Divide that by four steps. So he's picking up about 2.075 meters per step. So we'll go and go, you know, he lands again right there. You know, we'll give him probably another meter and a half or so. So we'll say all together, you know, we'll, we'll just say he, he's like right about 9.7 to 10 meters, right? Somewhere in there, I would say. So we're going to go and, and do the math here. Let's go 10 meters divided by 0 0.44704. And that gets to 22.3 miles per hour. If he was closer to 9.7 meters, and it's all just kind of based off of, you know, really just being able to look at it here. So if he's closer to 9.7, and that would be closer to like 21.7, 21.7 miles per hour. So that's what he was at. You know, big thing that I think he was able to do is he had ridiculous turnover there. So he's moving his legs really, really quickly. I real quickly want to be able to kind of see where he was at with that. Let's take a look at his left leg. It's going to be hard with the, the video here, but let's just say he came off at about 50 0.54, cycled that leg through, touched back down at 50.88, which is a great cycle time right there. It's under 0.3, honestly, so that's 0.26. I don't think I've ever seen anybody get um, 0.26 in terms of their, their cycle, but so that's amazing right there. So, um, you know, and, and you can just tell you when he's running, he, he ends up cycling his legs really, really quickly. So that's something that's very unique for him. You know, even if he's up at, you know, the, the higher point, maybe 2.28, he's definitely, you know, 0.3 or under in terms of his cycle, his, his turnover speed, how fast he's able to, to move those legs. And I think that has a lot to do with his core strength in comparison to his overall body size, right? He, we all know that he's kind of a leaner sprinter overall. And so, you know, because of that, he is able to create a lot more turnover because he doesn't have as much like leg density overall, right? So it's a lot easier for him to drive those legs through. And because he has a really strong core in comparison to that, that makes it so then he's able to really drive those legs through fast and then still be able to generate plenty of upward force when he pushes off. Has a lot of great vertical force in his body, a lot of strong ankles. So he's really strong in all the right places in order to make it so he runs faster. Uh, really excited to be able to continue to watch him develop because I think he has a ton of potential. And the fact that him and Matthew Bowling are both going through the you know college ranks right now together, you know both big names that are kind of pushing each other makes it so it's just even more competitive, more fun for us to watch. So I'm really excited to be able to see that. And as always guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like the information, go ahead and click that thumbs up down below. That really helps us out a ton. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you can click that notification tab to be able to get notifications every time that we post a new video. And we have a bunch of different things in the description down below from free ebook to free seven day speed, to five ways to get faster. There's a lot of different information to be able to help you out as well as programs that will make a big difference as well. We have our speed breakdown program where you get a month of training. We have our three month program where you get exercise over the course of three months. And then you also have the personalized programming as well, $150 per month. All of that is in the description down below to be able to find out more. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer those. We're gonna sign off, talk to you soon.